Hello everyone and welcome back to my channel. Today I want to take a look at this new tax proposal in Ghana. Basically what they want to do is they want to tax all the mobile payment transactions. And if this goes through, it's going to affect not only Ghana but whole of Africa because mobile transactions and paying with your mobile phone is becoming more and more popular. And in certain regions, for example in Somaliland, it's pretty much 100%. So I wanted to take a look at first what's happening in Ghana, how people have taken it, and then I want to respond to something the president of Ghana shared. And I want to tell why I think this is problematic in my opinion. And it's not the tax in itself, but the problem is the way the president and some of the leaders in Ghana have promoted this thing. Now firstly, before we get started, please remember to subscribe, like, share and comment. Thank you very much. A massive brawl broke out in the Ghanaian capital on Monday following a dispute over proposed tax on electronic transactions. The skirmishes rocked the floor with some leaders throwing punches, ripping shirts and while well, some throwing kicks at each other. And uh, what is behind the rationale for the proposition? Um, of course, as you said, you know, uh, I've been following this issue, but not just now. Um, and this brawl. Uh, break out uh, because of what they call the mobile money payment, what they call the electronic levy tax. Now, essentially, um, they're talking about taxing uh, people that use mobile, um, you know, mobile money devices to transact money, you know, for, um, you know so thereby bypassing the banks. So the, uh, the government is proposing that there should be tax levied and, and the opposition is holding its ground and arguing on the basis that it would affect, you know, the most vulnerable and the very lower level uh, people within the country. Because, of course, uh, most of the people that use uh, this mobile money transfer, but not all, um, you know, are people that, you know, cannot afford, you know, to have bank accounts. As you heard there, there was fighting in the parliament and the people have generally not liked this very much. And the reason is simple. The people who will be affected by this are the poorest of the poor. It's not the rich that will be affected. Because when the rich are buying houses and businesses and they are investing in things and they are doing things, they don't use mobile payment transactions. They spend cash or they use banking system. And they don't pay taxes on that. So this will affect the poor people and especially the poor businesses. Because every time somebody wants to buy something from them, they will have to pay that tax. Now, this is something that the president, Nana Akufo Addo, shared in his Twitter. And he's quoting Otumfua Osei Tutu, who is the monarch in, in Ghana. This is what he said. I do not know of any form of taxes that is less painful than others. So at last, government by all means would have to raise taxes to meet our needs and if we are good citizens, we will pay our taxes. And this is my problem with this. Because the problem is, everybody wants to pay taxes. It's not the taxes in itself. But there are two problems with this. The first problem is, as they said in that video, the people who will be affected will be the poorest of the poor. The rich won't be affected by this. So, it's unfair. The rich in Ghana, the rich people in Africa, are already not paying any taxes. So if we are going to raise taxes, shouldn't it affect the riches of the rich? But the problem in Africa, and the way our leaders think, they still have this mentality that we cannot touch the money of the rich people because they are investing. If we tax them, they might take their money elsewhere and they might not invest. No, they have to pay their fair share. Trickle-down economics hasn't worked in America. It hasn't worked in Europe, and it will not work for us either. So what we need to do is, if we're going to raise the taxes on the poor, you have to raise the same amount on the rich. But the rich in our countries, they never pay anything. There are over 110 multi-millionaires in Ghana. There are billionaires, but what are they doing? Are they paying taxes? And our politicians, they don't even want to touch them. They are their friends. They don't ask them for anything but the poor people they are eagerly raising taxes at this time in the middle of a pandemic in the middle of a recession 
everybody is suffering, but you choose this time to raise taxes. Now, another problem is, is that it's not even taxes in itself. You raise the taxes, and as you said there, if you raise taxes to meet our need, meaning if those taxes are used to meet the needs of the people, then nobody has issues with it. But is that what's happening in Ghana? Is that what's happening in our countries? No, what's happening is that the middle class and the poor people, they pay taxes, and then that money goes to the hands of the politicians, who then spend that money to hang around the rich people that they don't take any taxes from. So this money, if we could make sure that the money that is collected would come back to us in the forms of roads, healthcare, education, well then fair enough, people can pay taxes. But if this will be spent on, you know, housing for the politicians, new cars for the politicians, you know, for their mistresses, so that they can have houses in France, in England, in all these different places, well then why should we pay taxes? And my opinion is that we shouldn't, because currently the taxes that we already pay we don't benefit from it. And it's on you, the president of Ghana, it's on our leaders to show us that this is what we have done with the taxes, but we never know where our money goes. We just see that the politicians and the police officers and the people who work for the governments, every year they have, they, they have new cars, they have new houses, but we don't get anything from it. Now, if we take a look at this tax in itself, I do think that it's a wonderful way of collecting taxes. It's a easy way to collect the VAT tax and it's an ingenious way and it's, it will bring a lot of revenue to the government. But the question is, is that where will that money go? How it will be spent? And will the rich pay their fair share? And if the answer to those questions is we don't know, well then I say that this tax is nonsense. And fighting in the parliament, you know, you can do that all day. But the reality of the situation is that, you know, it, it's a childish thing to do. You should argue this thing through. And we need to find other ways of governing our people instead of using hands and fists. As if this is a UFC match, you know, this is not Wakanda. You know, in the Wakanda, the movie, they had the scene where they fought in order to make sure who becomes the king. Well... That's uh, just a fiction. That has never been our way of life. So let's stop this nonsense in fighting in the parliament. It looks silly. And let's argue the facts and points. Anyways, I hope you liked my video. And if you did, please remember to subscribe, like, share and comment. Thank you very much.